Hey guys, so I'm like hurrying up eating. I need to finish packing before I go to the airport. Um, and I just want to explain a little bit about what this video is going to be. Actually, I don't really 100% know what it's going to be, but I can tell you that I am going to go pick up my new Birkin in Arizona. Um, it's not new, it's new to me. You know everything that I buy is pre-loved, so you know it's not new. But I am um, getting ready to go. My flight is a little bit later today, and I'm probably leaving here in like an hour and a half or so. And I am packed mostly, but like I still have some other things to pack. Like I... I'm not all the way there honestly I'm also like I have my laptop in front of me for work like I'm still like kind of doing a little bit of work and I need to pack that and all my stuff I need for work while I'm gone because um, I'm staying for like five days but I'm not taking any time off work so I'll explain more when I get there as to why I am picking it up there um, and I'll also do the unboxing in this video so that way it's not like a separate video like I don't want to make it like a like a cliffhanger at the end or anything like I will unbox the bag in this video so yeah, let's go. I figured I'd show you what is going in my bag for like a travel day. First of all, I'm in California, so Arizona's not very far from me. I'm not like going on a super long plane uh, trip or anything like that. So I don't need to pack a ton of stuff in like my personal item. I have my insert in here. It is from Mai Tai. Uh, I love their inserts. This one actually just came in the other day. I had been using the Birkin 30 insert in my Kelly 32 for like since I got it <laughs> and then I finally got the right one for it and now it fits much better um, but I have my charger in here my little MagSafe power bank thingy um, just some gum my wallet and like a cord to something packing sunglasses in here so I didn't want them to get squished in my bag I have my phone this is my second phone um, and then I have hmm, how am I gonna do this I have my AirPods Max. These are absolutely essential in my life constantly, especially when you go on planes though. Um, they don't really fit very well in here. I've tried it before and they don't fit great in here, but they're gonna have to make it work because they need to come on the plane with me and <laughs> I need them for work also because now I can't function without them. I'm so used to them. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna stick this microfiber cloth in there to clean off my phone camera and my regular camera. Um, I have some peanut butter pretzels, which are gonna take up a ton of space, but I can't go without like a good solid snack. And then I think that we can close it. <laughs> I might have to move this stuff around. Hold on. I mean, is this enough of a reason to buy a Birkin 35 or a Kelly 35? Like, because I feel like it is. <laughs> okay, I couldn't get it to work with the AirPods. I'm just going to put these in my bag. I have plenty of extra space in there, so it shouldn't be an issue. I just got this Briggs & Riley suitcase, and I am pretty excited about it. Like, it's supposed to have a lifetime warranty. It's supposed to last a really long time, be great quality, so I'm stoked about that. Um, I left some extra room in my bag. You can see there's like quite a bit left. Uh, because I am picking up the bag and I'm only bringing a carry-on with me. Yeah, I'm gonna put these in here and then I can just take them out when I get to the airport. Okay, so that did not go as planned. I am in Arizona, but, um, <laughs> plan was to do some more vlog style type of content on the way here. Uh, which didn't happen because I like randomly felt like I was getting sick at the airport. Like I started, okay, so I started sneezing and like my nose was runny and like I just was like what just happened like out of nowhere um after I already went to security after I went and sat down um and waited at my gate and I was like what is going on so I called my boyfriend and was like I think that I just got sick out of nowhere like because I didn't know if he was gonna have to come pick me up again after he just dropped me off and I was like I don't know what's going on he's like you're probably allergic to something at the airport and I was like oh no that would make sense um, my allergies have been really bad lately just and I was like maybe it is just allergies so, so I tracked down some medicine I took the medicine and then I was basically fine so um, I got here I felt totally fine when I got here and then I went to get some food went to sleep got up this morning feel like totally back to normal so I think that I sound a little bit congested but other than that like I took it allergy pills and like now I'm fine so <laughs> the good news is that it was just allergies like I panicked because I'm like I don't want to get anyone else sick and I'm at the airport oh my god um but yeah no I'm I'm totally fine so I didn't tell you where I am so anyway back to the point of this video I came to Arizona to not only pick up a Birkin I came to visit my grandparents I knew that I was coming out here at some point so I purchased this bag from Rebag and the reason that I had it sent out here instead of sent to my home in California is because I did it as a trade. So I traded my Chanel Classic flap, my small one, and something else. Oh, my Palm Springs Mini. And then I think that was it for the bags that I traded to Rebag to get this bag. Um, and then I paid for the rest of it because it was still not enough to cover the bag. <laughs> what happens with Rebag is if you trade with them, 
then it's possible that you don't have to pay tax on the amount that is like washed out from the trade basically so since i was trading so much and um a majority of that bag was paid for by a trade it meant that i would have to pay less sales tax if i had it sent to arizona rather than sent to california so i ordered this bag on december 25th it's january 21st and this is going to be the first time that i'm seeing it so i'm pretty excited i'm a little nervous about the condition that it's going to be in because i kept going back through the pictures and i feel like the purchase was a bit like i'm not gonna say that it was impulsive because this was the only one that i could find that i wanted that was at a decent price um but there was like something that I didn't notice and I'll show you guys and I'm a little bit concerned about that. But yeah, basically it was substantially cheaper to send it here because I knew that I was coming here soon. So I was like, oh, I'll just pick it up when I go there. So I'm not only here to pick up a bag, I'm here for a visit that I would have come for anyway, but it's gonna feel really good going home with a new bag. So that's exciting. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna find somewhere that's like more aesthetically pleasing to film this unboxing. Maybe I won't, I don't know. But I have to show you guys the living room too. Like the living room they redid this house and it looks fabulous like let me tell you like i have to show you guys i don't know if i'm gonna film down there maybe i will this is not how i envisioned this video going i felt like i was gonna be you know like you know in a more aesthetic environment um but right now i'm sleepy from the allergy medication so we're gonna go ahead and unbox this because i really want to see it <laughs> this box is huge by the way and i'm a little nervous that i'm not gonna be able to take this bag in my suitcase like i thought it was <laughs> in plastic at least it comes with a dust bag hold on because this is gonna be noisy i'm gonna take the plastic off i'm worried about this because i it is final sale and also i'm a little bit nervous about the condition that it's going to be in because i i don't know i was like oh it'll be fine and then i started looking after i bought it and like looking at the corners and being like i don't know like i was like a little bit hesitant about it after i ordered it um but yeah hopefully i'm like pleasantly surprised because i'm a little nervous that i'm not going to be satisfied with the <laughs> that's why i'm like hesitant like i'm not like i'm excited but like i'm nervous <laughs> anyway let's just do it and let's see it is a black birkin 30 in togo leather you know what i really don't know what i was like super worried about the thing I was worried about you can see that the corners are smooth I think this light helps show it really well too like the corners are pretty smooth like that there's been quite a bit of wear on them that's part of what I was really nervous about the other part that I was nervous about is that the leather on the picture like I really couldn't tell what type of leather it was because it says that it's Togo leather but when I looked at it like the pebbling is pretty big I guess that's what you call it, pebbling. Like, it's pretty big, like, Clemence leather, right? So I was like, well, I don't know how the bag is going to look. Um, I do see veining in the front. I don't think that you're going to see this on camera, but <laughs> I do see veining in the front, which um, leads me to believe that it actually is Togo leather. I think that it's totally fine. Um, I'm pretty sure that they're right. Like, they're, like, experts on this stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and trust them. <laughs> um, but I'm going to open the bag up because I want to see... Let's see. It's already not returnable, but um, this is actually not nearly what I thought it was going to be like. I think that the thing is, too, I feel like <laughs> sometimes on these luxury websites, they make things look better than they actually are in person, but sometimes they make them look worse, which is good probably for them because then you don't have people complaining like, oh, it looks worse than the photos. But like it was really zoomed in on any type of like corner damage and anything that this bag had going on. And while I see that it does have like some damage to it, not damage damage, but like from normal wear, um, it's not that bad. But the thing that I'm worried about is on the inside. Okay, so the part that I just didn't even see before I ordered it, and it said it in the description and it's totally my fault. Like this is not like a rebags fault type deal because this was a pretty good price, but the zipper pull tab is missing. And let me show you what I mean by that because I have my Kelly 32 over here. Let me just take the bag insert out. So normally there's a pull tab on the inside zipper. Oh my gosh. It's also really hard to show on a black bag. There's a pull tab. There's like a little leather pull tab right there. Um, 
attached to the zipper but this one does not have that and it said in the description that the pull tab had been detached um and that it wasn't gonna have that so it's not their fault it's my fault because i didn't notice ahead of time um which is i don't think it's that big of a deal i'm gonna put a bag organizer in here anyway i have never used the inside pockets of my kelly's or birkins so i don't really think it's that big of a deal but i think that like let me move back like i'm so close to the camera i think that it like made me a little bit nervous though also if you know how it is with like neutral colored hermes bags it's kind of hard to find them at a good price um like the more colorful ones you can a lot of times get a good condition plus good like price um but with the colors like black and gold sometimes like i've noticed that you kind of have to sacrifice the condition in order to get a good price which I don't mind that much because these bags are meant to last for like a really long time. Also, you can get them spawed and which might end up being something that I do with this bag. Okay, so the other part is right here. Do you see this like indent right here? I believe that that's from the bag being closed for like a really long time and probably stored improperly. Um, that I don't, it doesn't really bother me. <laughs> I was more concerned about the missing pull tab. I also don't think that I should be that concerned. I don't know. I figured what I would do is see, let me move the camera up. Hold on. This is so awkward. Okay. So I figured what I would do is see how I felt about it when it got here. I know that it's like final sale. It's not returnable, but also like the, with these bags, you can sell them. <laughs> so that's the thing. Like I could sell it and probably get very close to what I paid for it or um, in some cases a little bit more than what I paid for it whatever the case is I wasn't too nervous about that so that's why I'm fine with taking some risks like this but I actually think that I'm really okay with it I think that what I wanted was like a nice slouchy Birkin this is slouchy <laughs> I wanted a palladium hardware I wanted it to be black and I wanted either Togo or Clemence leather um, I would have been okay with Swift leather too I'm actually a big fan of Swift leather but, but the reason I'm glad I didn't get Swift leather is because I have this bag which is in Swift leather and they're already pretty similar and like I don't really want the same bag same leather similar size like all that stuff like I don't really want that but like in the pictures the corners looked almost like discolored like they looked like they were painted with like the wrong color or something but I think that it was just the light like reflecting off of it and I don't think that that's actually the case like it looks like I'm looking at it in pretty good lighting and it looks like not nearly as bad as I thought it was going to be. I'm actually really excited to get a bag insert in here. Um, like I said, I love the slouchiness, but I do like to protect the inside of the bag. I'm like scared to get like attached to it because I want to inspect it further and like I'm really nervous. Like I, I'm thinking like 90% that everything is okay, but I'm still like a little bit nervous. So after we get off camera, I'm going to just inspect it further um before i decide like what i'm gonna do with it because i don't want to get attached to it like <laughs> it's kind of like getting like a new dog and then you find out that you're allergic like i don't know i'm also not myself because i'm on um allergy medication and yeah i am very sleepy <laughs> these two bags too similar like they look a lot alike i i've really been loving this kelly though like and i'm a i love birkins like i'm a birkin girl i've had a black birkin with silver hardware before but it was a 35 I figure the 30 would be like would suit my lifestyle now better i still want a 40 though like i still want the 40 same colors i don't know if that i think that's kind of overkill like if i get a birkin 40 in the same <laughs> in the black with the silver hardware i feel like that's a bit overkill like i feel like we're doing too much at that point and i need to shut it down or get something different like this is not i don't know wait okay like i'm looking at it in the um camera she's cute i like it okay let me let me just go and like either take a nap gather myself inspect the bag like let's just just give me a minute and i will be back <laughs> i had a chance to sleep on it had a chance to look at it some more and decide and i really feel like this is still the perfect bag for me i know that it has some damage on it but it looks like it looks like it's in like good enough condition honestly after i like looked at it for a while and after i actually loaded my stuff up in here I put my things in here and I was like, okay, is it really that big of a deal? And will I notice it after a while? Will I start to regret that I'm keeping the bag? And I don't think so. Like, honestly, I think that it's fine. I think that it's something that I won't even really pay attention to in the long term. I'm not a person, I'm not a person that needs their bags to be absolutely perfect. So that makes it a lot easier for me to accept certain flaws in bags. I just, I think that at first I was a little bit nervous that this is kind of a big deal, but also having it be in black with silver hardware it's everything that i 
want, the size that I want, everything, and I think that I'm willing to look past that. I honestly think in the long run it's just not going to be a big deal to me, and I'm glad that I slept on it, especially because I was super tired yesterday when I was filming the unboxing. <laughs> um, so I'm glad that I slept on it. I woke up with a clearer mind and more awake, of course. Now I feel like I'm good to make the decision to keep it. So I am really happy and really excited. Like now I feel a lot more excited. I feel a lot more relieved now that I'm like, okay, no, I think that everything is good. This is right. I'm good. I'm okay with this. This is, I'm good. I'm glad that it's already a little bit worn in because that means that I'm going to wear it more. I'm going to use it more. I said the same thing when I was unboxing my Kelly 32. That's something where I've just learned myself well enough that if I get something that is in brand new condition, I'm just not going to use it because I'm going to think that I'm going to mess it up. So having something that's a bit worn in is actually really good for me and I'm happy about it and I'm happy about this purchase and I'm excited to take it home. I can't wait. Okay, so sorry for having this like vlog unboxing being all over the place. Um, I really hope that you guys still enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this one. Also, if you want to follow me on Instagram, I'll put my Instagram on the screen too. It's Kate Swan, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye, guys.